Um, so, uh -huh. As a, a teenager, I couldn't bear the brutality of men. Uh -huh. And when it came time, uh, my time was during the Korean War, I decided to be a conscientious objector. Mm -hmm. And it, I felt mm -hmm. wonderful being mm -hmm. able to say, I will not go along with this. Mm -hmm. And then when the Vietnamese War started, I said, I don't want to support it in any way. Mm -hmm. So I, for years, wrote a letter every year. And what I did was to, um, you know, I, I was a freelance teacher, so I only made up, you know, in the beginning it was $8,000 a year was mm -hmm. the poverty level. You mm -hmm. didn't have to pay taxes under 8000 So I didn't make any more than $8,000. And um, it's increased over the years. Um, but yes, I'm an outlaw. Okay. Um, I don't like the brutality of the patriarchy. Okay. And one of the things I discovered doing that hand drawing is that those hands are not men's hands. They're women's hands. Okay. And the earliest pots now, they've found fingerprints, and they think that they were made by women. Okay. And for thousands of years before pottery, the, the, those goddesses were made, and they were made by women. Oh, really? Yes. Those, ah. were, those big bosomed Venus of whatever. Wildendorf, the wonderful Wilden, one. Yes. Yeah. Those were made by women. How about that? Yes. And it... Um, it I think it was because of organized religion that, you know, we, the men took over and pushed down the receptivity of the feminine. Mm -hmm. And um, so my concern has always been, I've considered myself to be a teacher of the feminine. Okay. You know, of psyche and the feminine. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't see many women doing that. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're as guilty, you know, of wanting equal pay and to break the glass ceilings. But I had a dream once. I was reminded of it recently because uh, it came up in an interview with a woman who wrote a book that was published recently called World Enough in Time. Um, creativity and slowing down. And in the course of my conversation with her, this was 15 years ago, I remembered a dream and forgot it again until her book came out. But in the dream, I meet the Divine Mother. Oh. And I know it's the Divine Mother because she has a sash like Miss America. <laughs> Divine Mother. And I said to her, I thought to myself, oh, I can ask her a question. So I said, should I teach and what should I teach? And she said, oh, teach me, teach slow and savor. So that's... Been so that my, was the... Yeah. Well, you know, I was telling you about Abuelita Margarita, and she talks about the divine, divine feminine. Yes. Also, when yes. she talks about being oro en polvo para la humanidad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you.